people often think that all je questions are hard but that is not true a lot of je questions are quite easy i'm going to show you one such question here this is a trigonometry question okay but it also has a lot of geometry information whenever you have a trigonometry question with a lot of geometry definitely draw a diagram it will make a big difference okay let's read the question a vertical tower ab has its end a on the level ground so i want a tower a vertical tower so let me draw this vertical tower this is a that is b because it says that a is on the ground right c is the midpoint of ab so let me say c is somewhere here and t is a point on the ground so we will draw this line and this point is p the information that is given is ap is 2 times ab so if i call ab as h if i say that this height is h what will ap be it has to be 2h so this is 2 times h okay so now i have given taken all the information from the question i have drawn the diagram and marked all the information on the diagram this is the first step now we have been told that angle bpc is beta and we want to find tan beta so let us think about bpc this is b this is p this is c so bpc would be this angle so this angle is bpc that is beta okay so this angle is beta but how do i find the tan of this angle i don't have a right angle triangle there but i do have a right angle here and so this angle if i had called it as alpha i can find tan alpha very easily what is tan alpha tan alpha is this side divided by this side now c remember is the midpoint so that means this is h by 2 h by 2 divided by 2 h is 1 by 4 so tan alpha very easy to find 1 by 4 now i can't still find tan beta but i can find tan of alpha plus beta because if i look at alpha plus beta this side is h this is 2h so tan of alpha plus beta is h by 2h 1 by 2 so finding tan of alpha is easy finding tan of alpha plus beta is easy but the question unfortunately is asking us to find tan of beta but beta is just alpha plus beta minus alpha right if i think of this as x and think of that as y basically it is x minus y do you know a formula to find tan of x minus y yes that is one of the basic formulas tan of x minus y is tan x minus tan y by 1 plus tan x tan y that's all now what is x alpha plus beta what is y alpha so that's all so if i now think about tan beta it is tan of alpha plus beta minus alpha tan of alpha plus beta minus tan alpha i'm just using that formula divided by 1 plus tan of alpha plus beta tan alpha do you know tan of alpha plus beta yes we calculated that half tan of alpha 1 by 4 so all we are doing is to substitute all of that here and we will find tan beta so tan beta is tan of alpha plus beta 1 by 2 Minus tan alpha one by four by one plus one by two into one by four. So that is one by four divided by nine by eight. So therefore two by nine. So we have now found out that tan beta is two by nine. If you think about it, a very very simple question. Once you draw the diagram, the question solution comes to you directly. so whenever you see a trigonometry question remember you can solve it by drawing a diagram and also remember many je questions are easy so don't be afraid of it attempt the question try it out with simple ideas like drawing a diagram and you will see that you can solve most of the questions in je